And welcome back, this is Baller Scoop with an episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy 2. I am joined as always by my trusty party of Luke, Nova, Bro, and I guess Mindu. We, I guess we can include Mindu in that. He's been with us for a little bit here, just a little bit. And as you might have seen there, I've done quite a bit of leveling up here. I have, uh, well, let's just take a look at everybody's stats here. You know, anything you want to pay attention to, feel free. What you will notice is the word mithril just spammed all over the bottom of the screen for everybody except for Mindu. Because nobody really cares for uh, about Mindu. At least I don't. So, yeah, there you go. That's my setup. Um, I have a level 3 cure now. I did get pretty much all the white magic spells for, for Luke here. He knows phase. Um, I, I might show that later on. I might just skip it. It's kind of weird. Um, I do have blink, shield, and shell as well. They do pretty much exactly what you think they would do. Magic defense, regular defense, and increased invasion. For Nova, I got up to level 3 on every single magic spell, offensive magic spell, and uh, fires almost up to level 4. I did get her life. Um, I, I also got that for Luke. I don't know if I've mentioned that. And uh, I still haven't used cure for her. And, of course, warp. And I got life and fire on bro just in case, but he really shouldn't need to use that really at all. We are in the town of Poft, and we want to get the hell out of here. Yes, we, it requires money. I do have quite a bit of money left over, even though I got all the mithril stuff. You'll have to go to both um, Altair and Poft and Plume to get all the mithril stuff. It's not all in Altair like you would think. No, it's fucking everywhere as soon as somebody gets it. Alright. So, I have paid them. It's time to go to Basque. It's time to finally find out what's going on with this Death Star. I mean, Dreadnought. You know, it's, it's, it should be awesome. Come on. Dun, dun, dun. It's a little more epic this time. We have to do it a lot more slowly. I don't know why. Okay, so uh, there's the Dreadnought. Holy crap, it's huge. I don't know exactly how to get there. But hopefully somebody in Basque c can tell me. Oh, I'm at the top. Sweet. You'll need a pass to enter the Dreadnought. Okay. Please destroy the Dreadnought! Sure, sure, whatever you say. We need the Dark Knight! Uh, we need Batman? Really? We need Batman? Dark Knight was a great movie! Oh, oh it's too bad. Too bad. Everybody refuses to work under the General! General Borgen. <laughs> no, he's right here. Hey, what's up, dude? We totally were just talking about you. Finish this construction as quickly as your pathetic selves can. You're going to advance my position in the Imperial Army. What's well, higher than General? Like, isn't it? Isn't General it? Isn't that pretty much the highest you get? I don't know. I guess it depends on the army, but still. General Borgen must be firm with them. Yes, the slackers. Let's check out the magic shop while I'm here. What have you got? You've got Fear. And I don't really care about Fear. You have Basuna. Asuna in silence. Yeah. I'm definitely going to get Asuna for now. Silence and Basuna, I don't really feel that big of a concern trying to get that, but I might get Basuna. Silence, I don't know. I never silence enemies, ever. He came with the Dark Knight's replacement. It's been easy. He seems like an idiot. You never heard. You never heard that. Wild Rose. I wasn't able to move around with the Dark Knight. Huh. Borgen is only a pig-headed fool who doesn't care about anything but himself. I have Mithril. Nobody cares. What about the Dreadnought? You must be here to destroy the Dreadnought. I'm a spy for the rebel forces. An ally of yours. You'll find an entrance to the sewers ahead. It should lead you to the Dreadnought. I told you they would tell us how to get there. Don't want to rouse suspicion. Good luck. And then off he goes, halfway behind the grass. Awesome. But I want to check out the weapon shop here, and then I assume that there is, yeah, it's all, it's all down. The mithril is by far the best thing you can have at this point, but the, the, the mithril armor is what's really important right now because you might get owned if you don't have that. 
I really don't care about Mindu. He's got so much health. He hardly ever gets hit. He's good. He's good. Alright, so everybody hates Borgen. So now, it's off to the sewers. Because that's pretty much the only thing we can do right now, and it, it leads us forward. I want to go forward. Oh, sweet! We've got awesome music already. Do we have new enemies as well? Come on, new enemies! We've seen zombies. Now, I didn't mention this before, you don't have to actually fly to baths. You can walk all the way around if you want. You can also do the same to get to Poft. But I'm not too concerned about money right now, and I want to save myself some of the trouble. We do get a long sword in here if you didn't already upgrade to a mithril sword for whoever is your sword user. Now, I hate being in the sewers, but, you know, being in the water doesn't really hurt all that much. Or at all, so whatever. You guys can all stink for all I care, apparently. I don't really have that much of a choice. Oh, what do we have here? And here we get a longbow, if you didn't already pick up the mithril bow. Yeah, I don't... I mean, once it's available to you, you really should get it. I don't understand why... Why take one step and get into a battle? Why are they giving you stuff that you should have better equipment than already? You know, this long stuff. Long bow, long sword. You should have the mithril equipment by now. It's available. It, it might take a little bit of grinding, but you can get it. So just continue along this path here. There's really no treasure on this floor. And we meet the Dark Knight. The Dreadnought is complete. You fools thought I'd return to Palamecia before my duty was done? Give up. You stand no chance against the Emperor. I will leave you for n I will leave you to think it over. Farewell for now. Yeah, he doesn't kick our asses when we're low level. That's how you know he might be one of the final bosses. Take that! What the hell was that? Is that a laugh? The hell? Oh, oh, this is not good. The Death Star is operational. And away it goes. We just weren't in time. Just weren't in time. So, as you can see, there's really nothing to do on the world map here. So, back into the cave we go. And then let's head over this way. What what was over here? Where did Borgen come from? Oh, yes. Be right back. Fucking limited inventory. What do I get here? I get the pass! Sweet! Is there is there anything else? There are enemies in here? I see some shiny over here. I never knew there were battles in this room. I never never encountered one. Okay, so that was a warp and we warped right on out of the dungeon. Can you even call it a dungeon? It wasn't very good. You know, especially after the last one. Okay, so I'm gonna heal up and I'll meet you right back. With the dreadnought gone, whatever can we do? Well, there's one thing we can do. We can get into a battle right outside. We need to head back to Poft. Yeah, you do a lot of backtracking in this game. We need to go talk to the only person that could possibly chase that thing down. I'm, of course, talking about the one, the only Sid, who does have the airship for us. That is, if we can get him to y let us use it, like, permanently. Um, yeah, so it's not a long trip to Basque. If you want to skip it, feel free to go through, you know, just walk into it. I wanted to save you guys some time, though. So we need to go into Poft here. I don't really have a problem. Um, I don't need to really repair the HP yet, or the MP, because that's what really goes low. Were those holes always there? Um, dude? D uh, wh what the hell? They've... Oh. Oh, this this is because of the Dreadnought. Oh, this is not good. Oh. Our fa failure here has really led to some devastating 
consequences. But it's fine because this lady's cool. It opened fire, killing everyone except for me and the guy that and all the people that want to make money. If you're if you're into making money, this is a good time to be you. Give your guilt to the guy behind me, right? Ask about the dreadnought. You only need to blow up the engine of the dreadnought to blow it to smithereens. Okay. Okay, well, what about your airship? The airship runs on sunfire? What the hell is sunfire? The sunfire can't be controlled easily. You get too much flame and it might just blow up in your face. Ah, oh, sweet. Awesome. Okay. So, uh, that's pretty much all we can do. You're not as big of a help as I thought you would be, Sid. That's not cool. So, we have to go to the only other place we can go when we don't really know what to do. It's back to Princess Hilda. I'll meet you there. We didn't quite make it to Altair yet. Right, I will get it there, but I just wanted to show you guys that indeed the same thing has happened in Paloom. I'm not gonna make it. I just stand here dancing. Ugh. Here, look at the fountain. It'll make you feel better. It works in all the other games. Come on, man. Oh. Oh. I don't want to hear that. The Dreadnought attacked us. Thank you, Captain Obvious. So, that's Paloom since the Dreadnought. And I will meet you back in Altair. We've made it back to Altair, and as you can see, not even the Rebels hide out here. The, the base of operations has been spared from the Dreadnought's deadly attacks. So we will be talking to Princess Hilda, Hilda even, next time. I hope you guys have enjoyed this part. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.